What's up, people? How y'all doing? Yeah, I did all. Let me let me shoot out a few of these old reminders out to folks. You know, so I know people want to know what it is I'm talking about here. So hold on, bear with me as I get everything set up here. Alright. Okay, so we're getting everything set up here. Alright, so uh how y'all doing today? Yeah. Uh, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Life is wonderful. Um well you know, first off, you know, I must give God some praise and thanks for everything that he's doing. You know, my family is working his back together. Hey mom. The family's working our way back together. Um, the girls are doing great, just in case you all don't know. I have one that's in um, a sophomore year, you know, she she's doing great in her t classes. And then I have a freshman, and, and she is um, actually doing college classes, a uh, bachelor program in her freshman year. Um, so... I, I I gotta be thankful for that. You know, she drives me crazy, my baby girl. But you know, if there's one thing she know, I push it for education. I'm real proud of her for that. All right. Um, next thing is, you know, right now I'm trying. To, I've been trying to push my music a lot and get into this. You know, I I started um back going to church, and I I um I'm, I'm trying to get very active in church uh, and get myself back into my music like I was before. Um, so right now, you know, I'm more in the background. I'm trying to do the audio, you know, um, in, um, in, in the church. And um, so, you know, they, they let me go up there. Hold on. I got I to gotta comb this beard, man. This thing getting a little wild. I'm, I'm preparing for, for No Shave November, you know, November. But I got so much problems growing my beard that I got to start in October growing this thing, you know. So, yeah, so, I, I, you know, of course, yeah, I'm a little slow with things like that, you know. So I got to start growing now in October for No Shave November. That's how bad it is. All right, and um, so I, I'm trying to adjust my my my, my computer here so I, I get you know good video and everything like that. You know, I got my lights and everything like that. Yeah, I've been spending a lot of time inside my little home studio here, and I'm trying to learn these programs that I'm doing and everything like that. And um, I hope that um, all of you all had a chance to go onto my um new Facebook mute page for um for my for my um for my music um a lot of those links don't work anymore um earlier on announcements and song links but i'm gonna put some new ones out there because i found that website that i was using was just a sham all right um they they were falsifying messages and they were falsifying plays and everything like that to get people all into it and think that you get your music go all over the place and people sharing when it was all false it was i guess it's a russian website i should have known better right um well, I didn't know that until I researched it, um, but um, it, it, it did kind of give me an idea what to do with my Facebook page um, to to try and get my music, you know, out there. A lot of them are just trials and stuff like that. I probably did like half of it and didn't finish it or stuff like that. Um, but um, I'm actually starting to enjoy it, starting to enjoy doing it and learning these programs. Um, to a point where you know I, I could actually arrange a lot of the stuff that I'm doing. Um, I'm talking about doing bass, doing my keyboards, doing the you know it, guitar, doing the drums, everything like that. So I know everybody's still trying to hear what I, I got, what I want to talk about. Um, um, when when I was in the military, I um. I worked with the Wounded Warrior program where, you know, this is the, not, a lot of people know the Wounded Warrior project, but I'm talking about the Wounded Warrior program, which is the official army program for Wounded Warriors. 
Um, during my time there, I had um, a great opportunity meeting a lot of people, worked with a lot of very good social workers, although they wouldn't consider social workers, but that's what they did. They helped wounded warriors in a lot of social and stuff like that. Um, we were instrumental in um, creating some laws. I helped, you know, write up research and everything. Um, one of the biggest benefits that wounded warriors have right now um I was very involved in it, um, that um, um, combat-related special compensation. I was very involved in that one. Um, and um, a lot of making sure that the VA and everything was, the writings and all the definitions and everything that affected wounded warriors were, everybody was on the same sheet of music. All right, that was part of my job. Although I was finance, I made sure everybody, VA, everybody was on the same sheet of music. Now... Music. Key word is music, people. Um, do, while I was there, I had the opportunity to meet this young lady um, um, who lives in New York, and she was the advocate. We call our workers out in the field advocate, wounded warrior advocates, who um, by the name of Laura Castillo. Um, we, her and I are friends on Facebook, and um, plenty of times we chat and we talk a lot about different things and you know stuff like that. And then I um, found out that um, you know she always she always told me before that she does this radio program online and stuff like that, and you know that they getting out and it's this woman power, you know, woman hour of power they call it. Um, our powerful and they talk about women issues and marriages and family and stuff like that you know um and i, I mean i was yeah okay cool you yeah, know fine and stuff like that and um the other day i was i was um messing around with my facebook music page and um i got a message from laura and laura was like hey um would you like to do an interview i was like a what <laughs> you know um, uh, interview uh, um, dealing with. In fact, you know, let me see if I could pull this up because I want. I want to make sure I get this. Um, I want to make sure I get this right. So let me go inside my message. My, my messages here, and um, I'm gonna get to what it is. I want to let you all know. You know, you always gotta have a little build up. You know, kind of thing. You know. So um, let me see what we got here. Um, so. Um, yeah, so she sent me a message saying, hey, I'm going to do doing a segment on my show um, to air on Tuesday, which is today, um, to be or not to be married. Okay, folks, you know what I just went through, right? Okay cool um just heard your song would like to um uh, would like you to be interviewed on the topic uh, now for all those who don't know all right i am very pro marriage regardless of what my situation and everything like that or what i've been through i am pro marriage i am not one of those guys who are going to go Dog marriages or dog relationships, I believe in relationship. I believe in, 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 in a man finding a woman, right? And I believe in, in two people becoming one, okay? And, and I, I spend a lot of time these days talking to young men, trying to teach them certain things um, that I've learned over the years through my experiences, um, I think there's about five guys, grown men, who I talk to on a regular, and they have told me many times that they find what it is I say to them um, very helpful in their lives. Um, and, and, and why I do that is because I believe, you know, people always say, oh, men say this a lot, okay? Oh, God, we get married and she change, all right? I don't really like that sentence because my sentence, my, what my answer back to them is, um, the problem is not that the woman changed, the problem is that you didn't change, all right? Um, because men have this thing about them that um, you met me like this, all right? So this is how I am, all right? Um, 
And I, I and I, I have a hard time dealing with stuff like that. Um, I have a hard time dealing with how 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 you know men approach dealing with situations with females, the way they talk to them and stuff like that. I, I have a hard time with stuff like that. So I really try to help my male friends um, learn to talk to their females. And and the thing is, I always tell people, you know, I'm the calm one in my house, you know. Um, because women, you, we know you are emotional. We know women are emotional. So how else to deal with an emotional person, but by dealing with them on an emotional level? All right. So um, one thing that I have learned during the years is, um, instead of breathing out when you're angry, maybe you might want to breathe in. And that use that time breathing in to calm yourself down, young man. Calm yourself down and, and meet that woman, regardless of what the situation is, on an emotional level. Sometimes you may not be able to talk. Um, sometimes you may not be able to talk to that woman right then and then, or she may not be able to talk. Because right now, when both of you are loud or you, both of you are going, nobody's listening to each other. Nobody is listening to each other. All right? So what you have to do now is... Grow to um, two people have to say a <laughs> good one, Nicole. <laughs> um, what both of y'all have to learn is to leave something and say we'll come back to it. And then when you're dealing with this situation, as a man, I've learned to when I speak with my wife, I say, Hey, this is how what you did made me feel. This is how what you did. Um, and it is like that because now you're meeting her on an emotional level, all right? Um, I was sad when you did this. I was mad when you did this. I was afraid when you did this. I was hurt when you did this. I was so now you're meeting um, the, the the person so uh, on an emotional level, and uh, you would find that you know it all falls under communication. But what you would find is now, gentlemen. When you're speaking to the young ladies, you, you are meeting them on a level that they can understand, all right? Uh, and women, uh, a, a, a next part of it is being to allowing the man to be a man in his house, all right? Or in the relationship. Um, one thing that I heard a young lady say, and women have a big problem with this in the Bible when it, when it talks about... Um, Woman being submissive. Woo! That word could start a fight. Okay, we talking about fight now. Submissive? What? You know? Um, but what you would find, submissive is not being servant to. All right? It's not being servant to. It, 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 it's learning not to, to, to upheave or, or, or to, you know, disrespect. Um, because a man it, it, it was made to lead. I know all this woman live, and I believe in it. I believe in equality, and, and it is. But the way God has life and human nature set up is that the man is supposed to be a leader. Okay? And if he's not leading, then it is, you know, and if you feel like he's not leading, woman, there's a way to do it. And not and not be disrespectful because you still have to give him that respect. There's a way to share your opinions and how you feel about something with him that you don't disrespect. You know the design or, or thing that God has had made for families and for households. All right. So um, and as a helpmate, that's the word used. Okay, a helpmate, uh, and two shall become one. Um, you know, yes, respect is both ways. So when he leads, it doesn't mean that he's going to be disrespectful to you as a woman because that's not a leader. I, in the military, one thing I learned is if I am leading my troops and I have a problem with a, with a soldier or whatever, I can't be disrespectful to that soldier. I can't be disrespectful to things because guess what? What kind of leadership am I showing if I'm belittling someone? Okay, so respect is both ways, all right? Respect is both ways, and I totally agree with you, Felicia. Um, but, you know, and there's no but to it, but respect is both ways. Um, I, I'm just talking about how it is handled. Um, 
because you know I, I, you can't you know one thing i really hate you know is, is you know a female you know uh, um, trying to upheave a man in front of men or a man trying to you know belittle his woman in front of men or other people all right um one thing i used to tell i used to tell my wife a lot is guess what in front of everybody i got your back Okay, now I might have an issue with it, but guess what? In front of people, I got your back. Now I'm not talking about your back as in, oh, I'm going to fight or all this stuff. And I'm talking about back as in, okay, hear what? You're not going to disrespect my wife. You understand? This is how she feels. This is this and this and this. You understand? You know, but, but I, 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 got, I, got her, I got her back. I understand? Now, when we are in closed doors, then I'm going to say, hey, babe, you know, maybe you should have handled this different. Maybe you should have done this differently. Maybe this and this and this and this. This is how I truly feel. But guess what? I'm not going to go, oh, she was wrong. I know she wrong. Listen, you know, I know she was wrong. She shouldn't have done that. She wrong, you know, to somebody else, you know, belittling my woman in front of them. No, 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 no. That is a no, no. Like you say, um, Nicole, I have her back. All right. And it's the same thing I expect my wife to have my back and, and, and the same thing that all husbands and wives should have with each other right and, and they, this is where they respecting each other and making sure that you when you have situations or you have stuff that raises conflict you learn to how to express yourself in a better way than being loud this is why i say sometimes when you want to be loud take that breath in and pause for a little bit all right. So back on to the um, discussion, you know, I didn't want to go off there in a little thing. Back to my little discussion. I was on the phone when I was on messaging with um, Laura. And then her next line right after you know, she was, I, I heard your song, you know, which is one of my songs that I have um, there. And it was, you know, asked me if I want, want to be viewed. And um, I would like to... Would you like to be interviewed on the topic of being married or not to be? And I'll play your song. Did you say play my song? Did you? Wait, wait, hold up. Did you just say play my song on the radio? Oh, we gonna do that. I'm telling you. Where, hey, who wouldn't? You understand? <laughs> Yeah, I see Nicole online there, Felicia. I see you you online too. You knows you too. So anyhow, so wait. So did she just offer to do an interview with me on marriages, which is something that I like to talk about, and also play one of my original songs that I write um, that funny enough, I think I wrote six months before my breakup. My wife and I had this breakup during the summer. It's almost like that song was a prophecy of what was to become. Seriously. All right. Um, I have I have a link for the song on, 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 on my Facebook page, but I want you all to hear it on the radio. You know, I want you all to hear it on the radio. I want you all to, you know, hear my interview. So we did we did do an interview, you know. They called me. We did the whole thing sound like we was actually live on radio because we took commercial breaks. You know, hey Nicole, you know, we took commercial breaks. We took, you know, um, you know, pause, you know, they came back, asked questions, I answered, you know. Um, you know, I don't know if if I added any testosterone to the whole conversation, you know, because, you know, I, but I I tried. I answered the questions. And then she asked me, send me, send me a copy of her so of the song. I sent it to her. So guess what, ladies and gentlemen? It was supposed to be today, but next week, Tuesday, you would have an opportunity to hear. And I'll probably stream live while it's happening just to, for my reaction to see how I sound. But y'all, I don't know. I'm, I'm very critical of myself, you know. So I might be like, uh, mm, I don't know, mm, uh, you know. But um, it'll be kind of exciting to hear... Um, it will be kind of exciting to hear one of my songs being played on the radio, you know. And it happened to be the song where um, I was paying homage to one of my favorite singers, Barry White. So, you know, 
you know i i was i was paying homage to my to my um one of my favorite singers in the type of song that i did and it was the barry white um but you know if the thing about the particular song you know it was a song about a breakup with my wife that never that didn't happen yet think about this and if you all listen to the words I mean, the, t the year, the amount of years and everything didn't happen. We didn't break up. But the song was about that. And now we are. That's the next thing. We are back together. Loving it. Again, I am pro-marriage. So I, I believe I will do whatever is necessary to keep my marriage and to keep my, my love for my wife and my family together. Um, which I do. I love you, Isabel Farley. And, um, you know, I would do everything possible to do, to keep my marriage and to keep my thing. Um, and part of that, uh, my little sway off right now, um, is to, is to get my life back with God. Um, because one thing that I realized that, that, that within me trying to keep my marriage over the years, yes, you did hear right, Felicia. Um, one thing that I did realize during the years of me fighting to keep my marriage and trying to keep this together is that I actually fell away from my beliefs and I lost who I was during the years, some years, and this could be why, you know, our relationship went downhill is because I did lose who I was. I wasn't being myself. I was being someone else. Um, and a lot of times it's, um, we do things, we do things and we think it's for the betterment, which it was, I um, think, you know, because I believe it kept our marriage and stuff like that because we had a lot of different conflicts, different beliefs, um, when it comes to raising the kids. So of course I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. We, you all know how we roll, you know, she's from Europe, the other extent of what it is we do. All right. And of course, that caused a lot of conflict. The way we, we communicated with each other, um, again, my belief in, uh, in man being the head of the household and her belief on the word, right? That magic word that ladies don't like. Well, some ladies don't like. Um, yeah, yeah, Felicia, it's been 16 years. It, it would have been hard for something like that for me to let go. And, you know, uh, regardless of who was wrong or, or who was right. Um, sometimes we have to learn to put things to the side and, and, and do the right thing um, under, you know, um, you know, do the right thing in the eyes of God also. And who God put together, no man put asunder. So, yes, we are back together and we're working and it's been great. Um, so... Um, Folks, if I'm online with you, don't be sending me no private message on WhatsApp. Nicole, Friday. All right. Um, so, um, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so we, we, we back together. But, you know, it's funny enough that I wrote this song months before our, our separation because we lived apart. And um, then the song literally had everything to do with us being separated. And, it, and then we got separated. We're back together. And now I'm doing an interview on marriages, pro-marriage, yes or no. And the song that's going to be played is the song about a breakup that happened months after the song was written. All right. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, you know, part of what I did, you know, I lost who I was, you know, which is, of course, some changes, you know, which I, I you know, when we t spoke, I, I told her, this is the stuff that you'll have to accept, you know, and the same thing back with, with her, the things that I have to accept. Um, and part of that was that I lost track of my belief in Christ and in God. So I am firmly trying to work my way back to that. Um, it's going to be hard. You know, um, I almost feel like I could say, um, like Martin Luther King, I've seen the mountaintop, you know, and it's hard to climb back up there, 
it's hard to climb back up there. So I'm taking it one day at a time. But, ladies and gentlemen, back to this thing. On my Facebook page, I'm going to keep you all updated. You see I have an event, special announcement. I'm going to change the name of that event to World Premiere. <laughs> I like how that sounds. I'm going to change that to World Premiere, where my song is going to be played on, on Six Sense Radio uh, in, from, in New York City. Um, I'll give you all the link for the website. I'll give you the time and the date when it's going to be played. Um, right now, we have it called for next week, Tuesday. So you all will see PMEs giving reminders. Um, go ahead. Go in the event. Um, click that you're going to be listening. I'm going to put the link to the um, to the to the radio station on TuneIn. If you have TuneIn Radio, I'm going to put the link for that. If you just have internet, I'm going to put the link for that also um, for the website so you can click on the Woman Hour of Power, Woman Power Hour, um, hosted by Laura Castillo and um, her co-worker, another um, DJ on, on the radio station. And um, I'm, I'm happy for this. I'm happy for this. Um, the name of the song is... Um, well, no, yeah, because see, I always got almost got it mixed up. Um, phone call because uh, there's a song I'm about to do a video for. Um, yeah, I'm trying to do everything, I'm writing, producing, everything, I'm doing videos. I, I mean, I, I'm gonna have a one stop shop. This whole place is gonna be a one stop shop. You see, I got my green screen there. I'm, I'm about to talk, I've been talking with my daughter and my wrestlers. We're about to do a video for my song called Problems. Um, and and uh, and so that's the one thing that I have coming up. I'm gonna do a video for this song called Phone Call. Again, it's gonna be cheap. It's gonna be th thing, but it's for fun. I'm not doing uh, this for money. I'm doing this for fun. All right. Um. So look out for it. All right. Go ahead. Like my Facebook music uh, music page, which you'll find it's called Home Base Music. I'm gonna put a link for it. Um. Oh, whatever, Stephanie, you didn't start my singing. I didn't want to sing in the military to sing the national anthem. That's all. You didn't start my singing. I've been singing since I was six years old. Where were you then? Okay. So, um, so I'm, go ahead. Like that um, thing where I have special announcement and everything like that. I'm going to put, put in a little group page. I'm going to start putting little things. If I do videos or doing something, you know, while I'm working on it, um, I'm going to start doing, but again, look for home base music or HBM production. You'll see a picture of me, right? Home base music, um, of course, home bass is one word, and then music spelled crazy, M-U-Z-I-K, right? Home bass music, music, um, uh, dash HBM productions, all right? Home base music productions. Look for that on Facebook. Like the page. Um, yeah, that, 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 you see, it's a step thing that I started singing in 1996 when I joined the military. She don't know. She don't know I was on television. She don't know I was, you know, I win all them competitions all over Philly, you know. You know, I'm, I'm a regular rock star, you know. I'm just trying to get get a little something, some, have do this thing for fun, you know what I'm saying? Because I know I could get paid if I want to. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But anyhow, again, thank you very much for joining me. Um, I'm going to keep you all posted. Um... <laughs> Good one, Steph. Good one. Good one. <laughs> um, you know, I keep posted. Please, 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 please. Um, the more I get interaction, you know, you all have no idea how much this helps me. Um, because, you know, I'm home whole day. I'm home whole day, you know, and all I do is music. All right. And, you know, it really gets me, you know, that's, it's been my lifeline ever since I was small. All right. Um, so, um, go ahead, like my Facebook page. I'm going to send you all the links. Again, is Dexter Friday, Home Bass, mu home bass Music dash HBM Productions. And I'll keep you all updated. And I'll make sure I put in an event for, the, for my work email of my song, Phone Call, and for the um, radio interview. Okay? Hey, this is Dexter Friday saying, God loves you. And I love you. Team Friday out.